G'day viewers, Jason, Joondalup Electrical Services. I'm at a house in Baskerville today, having a look at a water leak. Um, bit of a unique one, nice, nice Fronius inverter up on the wall there. Uh, the house was built in 2019 and uh, we've, the leak has been an ongoing problem for uh, quite a long time. The owner is the second owner of the house. And what we've got there is uh, that roof there's a skilling roof and inside it's raked ceiling so the inside ceiling is raked at the same um, pitch as the outside section of the roof and there's really not much roof space in there to get into the roof and actually have a look at where the leak's coming from because it's inaccessible there's only about 300 millimeters and you can't see you can't do anything uh, the builder's been back. They've cut a section of ceiling out a few years ago to try and see where the leak was coming from. Uh, I believe the original solar installers have been back at some stage also over the years uh, to try and rectify the leak. And the last uh, time the builder came out, they cut the hole in the ceiling. They had a look at everything they put a bit of silicon around which i'll show you up on the roof and for the last couple of years the leak seems to have been okay but recently with all the rain we've had in perth and the wind uh unfortunately the leak has come back so that's the roof as you can see it's not particularly steep uh it's a tin roof which is very unusual to get a leaking uh roof when a solar system's put on a tin roof um, but nevertheless it's it's been an ongoing problem and there is a leak somewhere so the homeowners give me a call I've come out we've had a look at everything um, I've looked at the cable penetrations from the um, DC going down to the inverter and that's been done which is probably the only bit that I would suspect would be the cause of a leak but that's been done in this section here which is actually in the roof cavity um, so that's not even in the section of the roof that's leaking. This is roof cavity here going that way and that bit over there is all raked ceilings internally which is inaccessible and the leak has typically been inside at the bottom of the raked ceiling about where I'm pointing where the cornice is. So I've come and had a look. You can see the solar panels I've pulled up and I can see here first thing I noticed when I came up was all these marks on the solar panels and that's actually silicon from I'm going to assume the installers hands when they've come back to try and sort the leak out um, so it looks like most of the solar panels have been lifted at some stage and they've gone nuts with silicon there's silicon everywhere on every screw on every interface even down the valley where the sheets overlap. But if you look at this logically, all the penetrations have been done as they should on the high point of the profile on the tin. So realistically, even if these screws were left out, when these panels are protected from the rain falling, the rain is, the water's just gonna run down there. So really there's no reason whatsoever why a leak should originate from under here and as you can see here it's just silicon everywhere which is just doesn't make sense to me so my first thoughts are that the leak is not actually from the solar system and that putting all this silicon down has been uh, a waste of time. Now under this tin there is size isolation which is like tin foil with insulation and then you're going to have your roof battens running that way and then tiny bit of roof space tilted down because it's raked and then that has got insulation so there's almost like a double layer of insulation so realistically we could have a leak start here but it could potentially not even show up until over there somewhere it's water it could go all over the place because the battens inside the roof are running that way so the the water can travel all over the place and then my attention came over to the chimney there the uh, decorative stone chimney 
So I had a closer look at that because I'm pretty confident that there is no chance of the water leaking from the solar installation. And the poor installers had to come back and pull them all off and try and sort that out. So I've had a look at this a bit closer. And on the back side of it, this flashing goes up all the way to under this lip here. But on this side, I don't know if you can see it, but the tin flashing actually only comes up to here. And then behind that, you can see it in the gap there, is brickwork. So on this side here, just there, you can see the flashing on the back of it. The sun's on my phone, so I don't know if you can see that, but the flashing is all the way down that back side of it. But on this side, it stops, it comes up and it stops there. And then there's brickwork. So there's been instances where it's absolutely bucketed down with rain and it hasn't leaked. And then there's been other instances where they've only had, you know, a moderate amount of rain, but it's been really windy and it's leaked. So that kind of says to me that the variable here is the wind. And if the wind is blowing the rain, the runoff from here back behind these stones, and then that flashing isn't sealed properly against the brickwork, which would be near on impossible to do anyway, uh, it's leaking there. So I've concluded that our water leak is actually originating from around here somewhere. And then it's running down possibly across and then down the roof there and then it's coming out through the ceiling wherever it can find a spot in this instance on this leak it's coming through a screw hole where they've fixed the plasterboard to the battens on the roof uh, whereas before it was coming out the corners right at the bottom there where the ceiling changed to like a bulkhead section and the water had nowhere else to go it stopped and then ran through the corners so I can see they've put, when the builder, because the builder's been back as well, I can see they've put a little bit of silicon and that around here, which, you know, maybe they were on the right track. A bit of silicon here, I'm not sure. Um, but ultimately, I think this needs to be half flashing all the way from top to bottom um, and cover all this brickwork up because I've got my money on the water leak coming from there. So the owner's going to do that. The owner's going to put some flashing on there. And um, I'm very confident that that is going to be our leak and the problem will be solved. And hopefully no more water leaks. So I thought I'd share that one with you because that's quite a unique situation. And I just feel they've been looking in the wrong spot for the leak. I mean, look at this, this silicon everywhere but they've come back and just gone nuts with it but uh, I'm very confident they've been putting this leak in, in the wrong spot what's the saying do your best silicon the rest yeah doesn't always work you've got to think about it logically sometimes and I reckon that's that's our problem cheers guys